the time required for 10 percent completion of a first order reaction at 298k is equal to <coughs> that required for 20 uh, for its 25 percent completion at 308k you can see at different temperatures there is a different rate of reaction the question says time required time is t for 10 percent completion of the reaction <coughs> thus the remaining amount of the reaction to complete will be 100 minus 10 is equal to 90 90 we label it the final amount of the reaction well for this reaction temperature is given 298k we label it the initial temperature as t1 since the reaction is of the first order we apply the formula for the first order of reaction the formula is k k is rate constant is equal to 2.303 divided by time t log it is base 10 bracket uh, initial amount of the reaction divided by final amount of the reaction well we consider for this reaction the rate of reaction is k1 is equal to here we put 2.303 divided by time t log an initial amount of the reaction is initial value is 100 and divided by final final amount of the reaction is 90 we can simplify this one you can cancel 0 0 and here you can divide it 10 by 9 and the value you will get 1.111 and so here we have 2.303 divided by time t and so multiplied by log of 1.111 is equal to 0 0.0457 we label it first equation similarly for second equation we uh, follow the same method it says is equal to that means time is same required for its 25 percent completion the reaction completes 25 percent thus remaining amount of the reaction to complete will be 100 minus 25 is equal to 75 we label it final amount and the temperature is 308k this is the final temperature we label it t2 well if we apply the same uh, this formula and so consider for this reaction the rate of reaction is k2 thus we have k2 is equal to 2.303 divided by time is same and so log initial amount is 100 and final amount is 75 divided by 75 you can divide 100 by 75 here you will get 1.333 that's the value we get 2.303 divided by time t multiplied by log of 1.333 uh, 1.333 is equal to 0 0.1248 this is the second equation now you can divide second equation by first equation then you will have k2 upon k1 and since these uh, values are same in both equation will cancel out k2 is in the top that's why this value will get in the top 0 0.1248 divided by k1 value this is 0 0.0457 you can divide both values the you will get 2.73 this is the ratio between k2 and k1 that is equal to 2.73 well the question says calculate ea ea is the activation energy well the temperatures t1 and t2 values are given k1 k2 values are given and you have to calculate activation energy let's apply Arrhenius equation. Arrhenius equation is log bracket K2 upon K1 is equal to Ea is activation energy, it is known 2.3 in R3 and R, R is a gas constant bracket 1 upon T1 minus 1 upon T2. Well, K2 upon K1 is given 2.73. Let us plug in the value 2.73 is equal to here we have uh, Ea divided by 2.3 in R3 and R value is equal to 8.314 and its unit is joules per mole K. Let us plug in temperature value T1 is uh, 298 K. Here we have 298 minus T2 value. T2 value is uh, uh, 308 K. We plug in here 1 upon 308 and unit of temperature is in Kelvin. Kelvin, Kelvin will cancel out. 
that simplify this expression log of 2.73 is equal to 0 0.436 equal to ea divided by you can multiply both numbers it's advisable to remember the multiplication of these two numbers in chemical kinetics problems because you will come across uh, uh, this kind of multiplication often thus uh, we take uh, the value the after multiplication that is uh, 19 0.147. I get this value uh, after rounding of the figures and unit is left, unit left is joules per mole and uh, this side you can uh, multiply both denominators to 98 multiplied by 308 and you can do the cross multiplication here you will get a 308 minus 298 you can subtract you will get 10. Well we do the cross multiplication again here. In the numerator you have Ea 10, thus we have 10 Ea, 10 Ea is equal to, you can multiply these numbers, we have 0 0.436 multiplied by this numbers, 19.147 multiplied by these numbers, 298 multiplied by 308 and the unit is joules per mole. Well, you can multiply all these numbers and the value will get 7.66221 and unit is joules per mole. This side you have 10 Ea. Well, you can transfer uh, 10 on right side or else you can divide uh, this entire setup by 10. Then 10, 10 will cancel out. This side you have Ea is equal to and if you divide this number by 10, you will get a 766 2.1 and joules per mole. Well, remember the unit of energy of activation is expressed in kg per mole and it is in joules per mole that is why we convert this value from kg joules per mole into kg per mole. 1 kg is equal to 1000 joules that is why we multiply here 1 kg divided by 1000 joules. Joules, joules will cancel out. Now, you can divide these numbers by 1000. The value we have 76.6221 and the unit is kg per mole. You can round off these figures. Uh, here, uh, 2 is smaller than 5. That is why this uh, 2 uh, will uh, stay same, uh, remain same. Then the value we get 76.62 and the unit is kg per mole. This is the energy of activation of the reaction. Well, the question says calculate K. K is the rate constant at 308 K at this temperature. Well, E A value is known here. And so if the value of A is a frequency factor, it is also known as a pre exponential factor. It indicates uh, the frequency of collisions between colliding particles in a reaction, colliding molecules. Uh, in the sense uh, reacting molecules. Well, a value is given here, uh, then the value is uh, given, temperature is given uh, 318k and uh, exponential value, uh, pre exponential uh, 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 factor we have uh, uh, a is equal to multiplied by 10 to power 10 per second. These are the data given and based on this data we have to calculate rate constant. Well, let us apply Arrhenius equation which includes uh, the frequency factor. The equation is log k, k is rate constant is equal to log a is a frequency factor minus e a divided by 2.303 r, r is gauge constant is the temperature. You can see a value is known, e a value we have just now calculated and R is a gauge constant at is the temperature. These all values are known, we can plug in and find out rate constant K. Let us do it. Log A value is uh, 4 multiplied by 10 to power 10 minus E A value. Well, remember we use E A value in joules per mole because R value will also be in joules per mole. So, that uh, same unit will cancel out. And the value of Ea in joules per mole it is given here that is 
7662.2.1 and it is joules per mole divided by 2.3 not 3 multiplied by r value 8.314 and its unit is joules per mole k multiplied by temperature is given here that is uh, 318k 318k kelvin kelvin will cancel out joules per mole joules per mole will cancel out let us uh, simplify this uh, expression log it is given here log 4 multiplied by 10 to power 10 we apply logarithm product rule that is why you will get 10 to 10 log log 4 uh, plus log 10 to power 10 minus here we have uh, 7662.2.1 you can multiply all these numbers then the value you will get uh, 60 88.79 well log of 4 uh, uh, base 10 is there log of 4 is uh, equal to 0 0.602 plus log 10 power 10 we apply uh, logarithm power rule then you will have uh, 10 log 10 or log 10 is equal to 1 that is why 10 multiplied by 1 is equal to 10 minus you can divide you can do the division here then the value you will get a 12.584 excuse me you can add up for both positive values these are the positive value that is why we add up 10.602 and minus 12.584 you can see that a negative value is larger than positive value that is why on subtraction we get a negative value that is 1 minus 1.982 this is log k value now you can transfer log on right side then you will get nt log of minus 1.982 or else you can uh, uh, multiply nt log uh, uh, on this uh, on this setup then say so this on left side you will have nt log multiplied by log both will cancel out then you will have k on side uh, on right side you will get uh, nt log bracket minus 1.982 it can also be written as 10 to power minus 1.982 both values are similar to similar uh, well nt log of minus 1.982 is equal to 0 0.0104 remembers the unit of frequency factors uh, is in per second it is given here that is why the unit of rate constant will also be expressed is per second we can uh, write this value in scientific notation we move this decimal after one and here we have 1.04 uh, and since we move this decimal on right side after two digit, digits this side we have 10 to power minus 2 and unit is per second this is the rate constant and the temperature 3 one eight thank you